Howdy guys, Linux Mint version 22.1 called Zia is out. So let's take her for a spin. So if you are in the live CD, like I am, just need to click the install Linux Mint icon and you're ready to go. Righto, jumping right in here. Mint is one of the most polished and best looking distros. And it all starts with the installation. I'm not expecting to find any surprises here. And a new user to Linux should find it all pretty easy to get past. So this version of Mint or Zia comes with lots of interesting updates. There's a lot of updates to package management, new UI, power management, and what I'm most interested in, Cinnamon 6.4. Now I did play with the live CD before starting to install and got a feel for some of the UI updates. Lots of crisp looking dialogue windows and small subtle UI improvements that really add up. Speaking of subtle, I really like the install screens here. Call me weird, but I love staring at the info screens as the progress bar increases. Mint 22 has some of the best I've seen. Okay, so first launch, here we go. There's a welcome dialog that lists some common and fairly useful features of Linux Mint. I like what they pick to highlight here. Appearance, drivers, and software updates. If you're new to Linux, these things can trip you up. Let's check out the color options. And as expected, we have light and dark mode and color themes. More on that later. And you've got your usual online documentation and other resources. We'll just skip that. The Linux Mint desktop should look pretty familiar. Nothing unusual like first launch GNOME taskbar at the bottom with some network and audio widgets and notifications. You might be able to spot some of the UI improvements in version 6.4, things like rounded corners and generally more crisp look to all the dialogues. But if you're not watching out for it, like I am, you will hardly even notice. Another blink and you will miss it change is the application menu, which now looks cleaner and easier to use but I had to load up Mint 21 just to see the difference. The most obvious change is for dialogues, like the logout. We now have a nice rounded alert box. If you are a multiple workspace user, Cinnamon has also made updates to the workspace switcher. Now, if you have ever installed anything on Linux Mint, you will know that its Software Center is one of the easiest to use. But trust me, bro, there is a lot going on under the hood. Distros like Mint and Ubuntu are based off of Debian Linux and its apt infrastructure, which is the absolute granddaddy of Linux package management. In version 22, a lot of work has been done to modernize app dependencies and its tools package management tools that have existed for ages and are likely no longer being maintained have been replaced by newer alternatives. All this to make it easier for end users like us to get software to install and update with a simple click. We owe them so much. Okay, and finally, version 22.1 also comes with some quality of life improvements, a nightlight and power modes. Now I just have Balanced and Power Saver, but if you have a more gaming-oriented machine, you should have a Performance Mode as well. So, in summary, this latest release of Mint has lots of updates, but maybe not things that are considered sexy. Lots of under-the-hood changes, lots of improvements to UI and tools, basically improving on what is already a top-tier Linux distro. If you're already on Mint, then it's a no-brainer. Just get Jia. If you want to try out Linux for the first time, probably the same. Well guys, thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Until next time.